Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you first REST API test case. And we are going to use get method. We have already covered what are the different methods which we can use while testing REST services. I'm going to use get method over here. And these are the URI for the practice. So I'm using this second URI. I'm just copying it. And as we know, while testing the REST services, we can either, either get a URI for the each of the service that we are going to test, or we can get a WADL file. But here in this case, we are going to get URI. I'm just moving to the SOAP UI and I'm going to create a new project over here. This time a REST project. Click on this REST. Here it is asking for the URI. So I'm just giving URI. Here you will notice a new project is created and URI is added. If you want to change the name of the project, I can right click on this, rename and REST Now, as we know, while working on the SOAP UI, first we need to create a test suite, then test case, and then test step. Before moving to the test suite, test case, and test step, I'll show you a few things. Here, you will notice by default method is get, and we are going to use get method. So that is fine. And so it's a get request. Now I'm going to add a test suite. Suite 1. I'm going to add it as case, case one. Here in the test case, I'm going to add a step, this time a REST request step. Added a REST request step, I'm just giving the step one. Which request you want to hit? So here you will notice I have only one request which I have added. So that is my request one. I've selected that selected that click on ok so you will notice a request which is generated by adding the uri in the project is added to the test case now if you want to test it i'm just clicking on this run button and here we are getting json response we have already covered what is the json so we are getting json response now so here we have created first test case, first REST test case. So here we have seen how we can hit a REST request and we are getting some date, we are getting some output and a response. So we can validate that response by using different assertions. We are going to cover that part in a later sessions. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hello friends. Hope you are enjoying our videos. Here we have created a lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers. This is the list of our courses. We have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in $200. If you want to buy any 10 courses, you can take it in $100 and you can buy any individual course in $15. You can contact us on email or the number which I have provided for these videos.